The integrator can decide uh, to take advantage of uh, some features of FaceSafe that, um, that can be at different restriction levels. For unlocking the device, um, they, may, they can choose to relax some of those restrictions, but for a financial grade transaction, you can do things like eye detection. They have to be looking at the device, they have to be looking straight on. Uh, so those are some of the dials and knobs that can be turned. Hi everyone, it's Patrick from Tech the Lead, and we're here at the Xperia booth at Mobile World Congress Barcelona 2019. We're here with Greg DeCamp, product manager at Xperia for FaceSafe. So Greg, we've heard that LG and Xperia have partnered in their new smartphone, the LG G8 ThinQ. Can you tell us a little bit about how FaceSafe is incorporated within this new smartphone? Absolutely, thanks Patrick. Very exciting news, um, the announcement of the LG uh, G8 phone. Uh, where FaceSafe is the facial recognition solution chosen by LG for users to unlock their device. So a very simple, very seamless solution. The users will enroll through traditional um, uh, process, they you know, check their face, uh, and then just natural user experience of unlocking their device. So when it comes to facial recognition technology, we know that facial recognition, the depth sensing, is either structural light or time of flight. How does FaceSafe work with one or both of these technologies? Structured light and time of flight are the two most prominent 3D sensing modalities uh, in a mobile device today. There's uh, some experimenting in uh, stereo camera modalities as well, but you're right, stru structured light and time of flight are the two most uh, prominent. And this particular device is using a PMD sensor, it's a time of flight uh, technology. But as far as FaceSafe is concerned, uh, it is developed to be agnostic to the modality so that uh, this particular device, again using time of flight, we're working with time of flight, our roadmap into the future will be supporting structured light as well. When it comes to these facial recognition softwares like FaceSafe, uh, one big issue is security. Is FaceSafe secure enough for financial grade transactions? It depends on the integrator. The integrator can decide uh, to take advantage of uh, some features of FaceSafe that, um, that can be at different restriction levels. For unlocking the device, they can choose to relax some of those restrictions. But for a financial grade transaction, you can do things like eye detection. They have to be looking at the device. They have to be looking straight on. Uh, so those are some of the dials and knobs that can be turned during the integration process that will improve the security around a financial transaction. But what about for the casual user, just waking up their smartphone, looking, waking up, how does FaceSafe work with spoofing? So spoofing's really important. Uh, obviously, we don't want nefarious people unlocking your device with some sort of likeness of you. So uh, FaceSafe using the, uh, the 3D modality and uh, looking at textures and looking at liveness, we have uh, very robust protections against three types of spoofing. So first is the print attack. So somebody just takes your picture and they put it up to the phone, it won't unlock. Um, primarily because it's a 2D picture, there's no three-dimensionality three to it whatsoever. Or, or a video replay, you know, so that at least has mo motion, right? right? Still not 3D, we can protect against that. Now they can take that face, that pick print out, and they literally stick it on your face and cut out a nose hole, still won't work at all. Uh, and if somebody wants to go to the trouble of building a 3D mask, we have protections against that as well. When it comes to these spoofing measures and other features within FaceSafe, how were these created? Were these created through artificial intelligence, machine learning? Some other technology? The whole solution is based on machine learning. Okay. So we have a, an extensive database of images that is part of our training data. So that goes into facial recognition, right. teaching the system what it faces, what the landmarks are, and whatnot. And then similar um, activities through testing and, and whatnot. So the, the entire solution is a machine learning. Currently, we understand that it's only in the LG G8 ThinQ. But what is the roadmap for FaceSafe in 2019 and beyond? So we want to get it out there, as many devices as possible. Yeah. So uh, again, LG was our go-to-market customer, our go-to-market partner for uh, FaceSafe. Uh, based on time of flight, uh, we're going to be talking to other OEMs, see if we can get FaceSafe and other devices. So we've gotten a little bit more information on the FaceSafe technology, thanks to Greg here. Thanks, Patrick. And so stay tuned with Tech the Lead. Make sure to subscribe. And then ring the bell.